Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom auto layer for your open land landscape. For example, in this landscape, we have two auto layers, one for this, this auto forest, we call it, and now one for the beach. I need to create a new one over here. We call it soil rock. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to open my custom open land master material. So right in my case, it's under content, uh, my open land directory. In your case, it could be different uh, location. That's totally fine. Now I'm going to open a different uh, content browser. So I already have that. So it could be quite useful. So I go to my content, open land, co materials, and there's a new folder called auto blends. So these are the, my existing auto blends here. What we're trying to do is these are my auto blends, auto blend forest and beach. So I'm going to duplicate uh, something like this as auto blend uh, soil rock and we're going to use that but i cannot duplicate it from here or just simply copy and paste uh, the reason is you can see there are two different names the reason why we have two different names all the parameters inside these functions are different so we need to duplicate this from the source level so that's what we are trying to do right now so now i'm going to create a new directory over here called auto blends so i can uh, put my uh, custom auto blends over here now let's create a new material function in my auto blends directory should be material function like this and i'm gonna give it a name like mf uh, auto blend underscore soil rock all right it could be anything you want so in this case i like to use this one so then I'm, I, I can double click and open that i'm going to delete this output result because we don't need that all right then i'm going to open these one of these uh, existing auto blends and i'm going to copy this code and put it over here but we cannot do it directly the reason is we have these parameters and we need to change all these names like here is auto blend forest we need to change them and this one as well as the group name so so we can do it manually but it, it will take a lot of time and i really don't want to do that so there's an easy way to do that i'm gonna copy everything Control a Control c then i'm gonna paste this into a text editor in this case i'm gonna use visual studio code but it could be any text editor even not bad that's totally fine so i'm gonna paste this so now you can see a bunch of text don't worry i'm gonna hit a control f and search for group and now you can see uh, we so this is the place we need to change not only here but there are a lot of places like this so what i try to do is i have this auto blend for us i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste over here and then i'm gonna replace that with auto blend soil rock okay like this and i'm going to click this uh this icon and it will simply rename all the places and then i need to change a little bit more because now we have the group is uh is called as 1.1 over here but this is the third one so i need to change it to 1.3 so just like previously and yeah so now everything is over okay here so i'm going to control a and control c i'm going to copy this then i'm going to go to my unreal engine project and this is the new soil rock function and i'm going to paste it by simply hitting control v okay now we have our f my, all the code and you can see everything is changed uh, as we need so i'm going to hit save and go to my content browser and uh, this is the new plan we created i'm going to drag that over to my master material and put it over here all right now we have this and uh, it's now simply connecting wires so here we have the ground so in this case, I'm trying to use a sand layer as the ground. And here we have the mid layer. I'm going to use that for the both mid and for the slope section. In this case, I just reuse one of these uh, layers over here, texture layers. But in your case, it could be completely different. It should be some custom layers as well. So now I'm going to connect this material node, material pin into a layer over here. So let's create a new layer. So let's uh, hit this plus icon. And now we have here, let's say it should be something like a soil rock. Yeah, why not? All right, then I'm going to connect this material into this place. All right. And I'm going to click clean this a little bit because I like to like keep things in nicely. All right, now we are done with the material. So, and I'm going to hit save. Now it start compiling. Just wait for it. All right, now we can go to our map. I'm going to file and save all and I'm going to reopen my map. The reason is sometimes the new layers we created doesn't come in the landscape mode. So in order to fix that, uh, we need to reopen the map. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, now I have reopened the map and then I can open the landscape mode. 
modes landscape and go to the paint section now at the bottom of this here we have this soil rock new layer and i'm going to select that i'm going to click this plus icon and create a new layer info should be a weight blended then i'm going to create a new directory on the my open land it should be right click and it could be layer infos i like to keep it here all right then i'm going to select my soil rock a new layer and now i'm going to paint it like like this now you can see actually paints as we expected now we have the soil in the ground and for the slope and the mid uh, we have this our mid texture that doesn't look nice nice over here all right then i'm gonna close my landscape tools i'm gonna select landscape on the well outline and uh, i'm gonna open the material yeah it's a material instance let's arrange it like this and i'm gonna change something now we can see we have a new section called auto blend soil rock all right now we can change some settings over here all right let me reduce this a little bit all right something like this now yeah i think uh, it's uh, almost soily and yeah and we have some sort of sand here and there and i think i like this all right uh, i think this will be useful see you